better. Do you know what? At this point, this tripod is useless. A parcel's just arrived. We're gonna get it. This is one. Oh, and this one. I don't think I too many. That's my only revision technique. And if I don't have that, then I'm not realizing. Come on now. I, I, I don't have time for like stress, man. No, that's too much for me. I can't take that. Welcome back to my channel. So today, or should I say this week, I'm going to be filming a bit of like a pack with me, prep with me for holiday video. Um, so right now it is Saturday, it is the 20th of May. We go on holiday on the 26th of May, so we go in six days. So at the moment, it, we're like in the middle of our GCSE. So we've just finished our first week of GCSEs, which also, do you know what? I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get a bit into GCSEs while we're filming the video. So next week, on Monday I have one exam. On Tuesday I have no exams. On Wednesday I have two exams. On a Thursday I have one exam, and then Friday we go on holidays. Most of the week I'll be revising for those exams. I'll be like focused on you know revising, get getting all that information in my brain. So I won't really have time after school and stuff to like. Packs, that's why I'm trying to get most of it all sorted this weekend and then on Monday night and Thursday night I'm trying to do most of it. Mum's about to go and get the suitcases down um, so that I can start packing. thought I'd just start the vlog off so that, you know, during the week I'll vlog little bits now and then, you know, I'll vlog when I'm doing things for holiday and stuff. So, yeah, but I'm, doesn't feel real that I'm going on holiday. It doesn't even feel real. <laughs> is useless i have dipped the tripod i'm gonna try my hardest to fit everything in this suitcase like it's quite a small suitcase but i have been able to do it in past years my my my, my camera's gonna die it's 6 30 and i had a parcel coming and it was meant to arrive at five o'clock sorry you're half an hour late mate i, I don't like amazon sometimes you know talk about my parcel not arriving it has just arrived. Oh my god. A parcel's just arrived. We're gonna get it. I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you guys because let me explain what I'm doing. So basically, my best friend Jess, who I literally met in Sardinia in August, I'm giving her like a little package. So I've made her a little card. This is the card so far. It says best friend on it. Has a little picture of me and her in it. The card has a picture of me and her in it. It's really cute, right? I'm gonna write in the card something. I bought all her favourite like sweets and chocolate there and I put, got some little bra like, friendship bracelets I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it to her. Right, this massive box for that. Basically, I got two little friendship bracelets. So there's one for me and then there's one for her. They're, they're like the little hearts that join up basically. And one, I've got to read them like in the packaging. One of them says side by side or miles apart and the other one says best friends like us stay close at heart. But basically I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put one of these in the little packet and then put that in her little package box. And Jess, if you're watching this, I put a lot of thought in this little gift for you, by the way. We are gonna start packing. I'm gonna explain to you guys like everything I've packed. That can't be a hole there. That's where I've been keeping all my clothes for holiday <laughs> because that's the only place where it won't get dirty, won't get creased, won't get dusty. <laughs> well, it might get creased because it's all shoved in a copy of what most of that is all bikinis. So let's get that down and I'm gonna show you guys when I get a pair. Quite a big bundle, you know. Right, let's get started. So we're gonna do start bikinis, right? And some bikinis right, don't really fit me, but I'm still gonna take them because you know what? Why not? First thing we're gonna take is take this orange one because I'm sorry, but just look at it. It makes your tan look really good. I took this in um, August as well. Taking this kind of like I'm not sure kind of what print it is. It's like cheetah kind of print. I'm taking this one. This one's actually a really different one. It's a really cute one. Um, it's like a little zebra kind of print one. Um, 
so yeah it's pretty cute i'm taking too much bikinis i'll tell you that like there's too much in the basket we're only going for a week this is one oh and this one i'm never too many look say hi say hello everybody i'm putting in a few trousers because i don't i'm not gonna lie that most of the time in may it's never that hot so i thought i was putting them but i'm taking these shorts because they will literally go with any outfit in the evening so that's easy and then I'm going to take, put in the exactly same shorts in black. Then obviously some tops to go with that. I'm taking this little um, top that I got from Pull and Bear. The black top and the pink top and the white top, which is here. Shorts that I'm going to be sleeping in will be these little butterfly ones. The next top I'm going to put in is this little top that will go with really nice with denim shorts. Which I'm going to find my denim shorts in a minute. But it's this. It's like got no back. Then I've got this top that um, my cousin got for me for my birthday. Shout out to Ben and Marie if you're watching this. And thank you very much. This is a really, really cute dress. I haven't worn it yet, actually. Um, but I thought I'd save it for Sudden. This new dress, actually, from Pull and Bear. This will be a nice evening dress or even just day dress. It's got a dress. It's got a little cut at the front. So it's pretty cute. Now I'm going to wear my cargoes. Put in this little shirt cover-up. Okay, guys. So now it is Wednesday after school. Tomorrow's my last ever day at school. That is mental. Like, that's crazy. I want to finish packing my suitcase because that is a thing I want to get done. I want to try and fit everything in that suitcase. I think I will, you know. So the pyjamas I was, I was going to put in last time was some butterfly shorts. But then I'm changing my pyjamas now because I couldn't find a top to go with it. So it's like little trick of shorts. And then it is literally just got a little matching little top and then also just putting in this little top it's like body actually and i thought this would just go nice with like some one of my shorts because i feel like i've got quite a lot of tops that look the same the extra bikini i'm adding is this little green one it's really cute you'll be able to see this in you'll probably saw this in like the august vlog but it's this little green one like looks look like that and then the top just looks like this just a really cute one from um sheen and then I'm also going to add a little cover-up that goes with the bikini that I've already got in there. Skirt cover-up I'm going to add in there. Here's all the shorts and the trousers. Then I've got the pyjamas and other little tops. My bikinis are all here. And then here is all the other little tops. And then they're all tops, basically. And then cover-ups and just little things. I've got a big space here to put my makeup bag in. I really do think that my makeup bag will be the last thing I put in because obviously I'm going to be wearing makeup to school tomorrow. I don't think you really all care about what kind of makeup I bring on holiday with me um, because you all probably see my get ready me's on TikTok. If you have not checked out my TikTok, what are you doing? Go right here and follow my TikTok right now because honestly, you're missing out. I'm actually halfway through my GCSEs at the moment, so I'm going to be needing to advise on holiday. My aim is to do two hours a day of revision. The, so basically, English, maths, and science. Science takeaway. Um, I've got to advise for on holiday. I'm going to print out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight papers. I apologise to my parents' printing costs. I'm sorry to my parents. Don't kill me. We have a situation, guys. There's no more ink left in the printing. I only printed half of one pass paper out of eight. That's my only revision technique. And if I don't have that, then I'm not realising. Basically, I asked a few questions because I was like, I'm doing a pack with me, guys. Do some stuff that will entertain me. While I'm sorting out what makeup I'm taking, the wake up I don't want to wear, I'm going like, to answer the questions. First question we have is, how are exams going? Do you know what? exams are actually going better than i thought like i generally thought exams would be literally like hell like i thought i'd be generally crying every single day about them i thought i'd be revising about 16 hours a day like i thought it would just be hell but yeah exams so far have been better than i expected but the first week which was last week i was a little bit like over the edge i think and I think the realisation point that this is my real thing, so this, I'm not going to ever do this again, kind of just made me a little bit, like, overwhelmed. The point that I was getting really upset about is the fact that I've worked my whole entire life for this. You want to pass at least get a four in most of your things because you don't want the past, like, 12 years of being in education to be, like worth just two passes that kind of makes sense me knowing that i'm not going to pass every single subject i do because i'm just so i've just 
For the past few years, I've not really been focused in school. You know, I've had quite a rocky journey in secondary school, so I've not really been that focused on wanting to do well. I've wanted to get out of this place. This week, I've been feeling a lot more better, a lot more positive about it. I've not cried once this week, which is really good. That's an achievement. Um, but this week, I've just been feeling a bit more positive about it, a bit more happy, you know. Latest obsession. Um, do you know what? I don't think I've had a latest obsession. If I'm quite honest with you. I've not watched any TV or anything like that in ages. I will, I will admit to you guys that Robert Downey Jr., the obsession is dying. <laughs> and after my GCSEs, we're having a big room makeover where all the Robert Downey Jr. stuff is going down. What do you see yourself in the future? Why in the future? Do you know what? I don't even have to answer that question. You guys all know what I want to do. I want to do social media full time. I want to be full time on YouTube. I want to be an influencer. I want to just put myself out there to inspire you guys, to make you guys happy. Do what I'm doing now. That's what I want to do. Right? Easy. What's been your favourite holiday ever and where do you want to go next? Do you know what? 100%. If you guys would have watched the podcast, episode one, you would have all known the answer to this question. But my favourite ever holiday was always Florida because I feel like you just really, really, truly can't beat Florida in any holiday. It was an amazing experience. It was the best experience of my life. Where I don't want to go next was I do want to go to Florida again. Florida was a really good experience and I feel like this time I would just appreciate it so much more. I'm also going to pack my shoes, which I'm just taking these shoes for the evening because literally they're my go-to shoes. We need to sort out my plane bag. Right, we're going to make a list of what I need to take in my plane bag, guys. So, the first thing we are going to take on our, in our plane bag will be our laptop because um, I am going to be editing this vlog, actually. My phone, obviously. I'm going to take my uh, portable charger, passport. That is important. I'm going to take a notepad and some revision books because I feel like they're quite heavy to put in a suitcase. I think that actually might be it, you know. iPhone, laptop, portable charger, passport, notepad, revision books, laptop charger. Plane bag sorted. My suitcase is pretty much done. I'm packing a gym set. The set we're going to take with us is, if Wendy, if you're watching this, then mwah to you. This little brown set is like this. And then... It's got some shorts matching. So it's now Thursday, the next day. We are going to the shops to buy last minute bits. Bit check, guys. We've got in cream and what do you call these? Like lilac. These are the lilac colour, guys. They feel so spongy. They look cute, actually. So these are the cream ones, guys. Cream or purple? No, it's a big no. These are like squares. We're now in Sainsbury's because mum wants chocolate. I've just picked up a little anklet, a little shell anklet. I'm gonna get that. I'm looking at some jewellery because Savannah wants a little A necklace for her boys. Not to give to him, but like to signify him to connote him, present him, represent him. Is mum getting all the chocolate she needs? <laughs> she's so confident in what she's getting, I love it. <laughs> this is, um, this is, this is what late, late night shopping's like, Helen Fitch, guys. So, I've just had a nice relaxing bath. I feel so refreshed and definitely holiday ready now when i shave my legs i don't shave like the whole entire leg i only shave up to my knee and then with like the rest of my leg i use this thing i don't actually know what it's called so i can't even tell you guys go ahead and dry my hair do that and then i'll be back with you guys when we're doing my nails because look at my nails yeah we're not gonna talk about it they look dead and also this nail still has fake tan in it i'm not gonna lie but i'm getting a little bit stressed out on what kind of revision stuff to take with me because my plan was to just like print out some half papers but our printer is being very annoying and is like not working we're going actually tomorrow 24 hours now i'll be inside dinner i'm very excited to go but like come on now i i, I don't have time for like stress man I'll take this with me because it 
might somehow be handy with me. A maths revision book, but I'm not too sure. No, I didn't think this might just stress me out, you know. No, that's too much for me. I can't take that. <laughs> There's something that's really important we take with us, and I lit. And I literally forgot about it. I cannot believe it. An evening bag. If you would have seen last week's YouTube video, you would have seen my pulling bear haul. And I got this really cute bag. It's really cute, really cute, really cute, really cute. My suitcase is all packed. There, I just need to put my um, makeup bag in. It's now 11 o'clock. We're at the salon, Savannah's doing my nails. So basically, this is the color I've gone for. It actually looks a bit more like greeny in the light, it's like but it's, it's like a bluey kind of. Jasper's here. You want to say hi to the vlog? You want to say hello? You want to say hello? He's literally been sleeping in my bed for like hours. But anyways, I'm literally all packed. Literally the only thing left I've got to do is put, put all my things in my bag in the morning that need to be charged overnight. So my camera, my laptop, my phone, my Apple Watch and my portable charger. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this little pack with me, prep with me for holiday. Um... I am, doesn't even feel real that I'm going on holiday tomorrow. It doesn't even feel real. But I hope you all enjoyed. Give it to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week for my holiday vlog. But I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye guys. Oh, hey, oh.